Okay, so I'm back on the strawberry line today, as you can see, and this time I am with my lovely boy and my husband. And we are walking the strawberry line again. We're going even further this time. So we've gone past Winscombe and now we're heading out past Sandford. So, um, but at the end of this walk, we're hoping to find a nice little cafe to have a cream tea in to share with you. So we can, you can have cream tea with us. Look at this beautiful mature ash tree. Look at this. All the way up to the heavens. Look at that. So we're now at the Sanford and Bamwell part. Um, there's a nice little picnic area up here and we're continuing on. So we've done quite well. We've, we're well out of um, Winscombe and we're now heading on. Beautiful trees. This is quite a nice open part. Um, a lot of it, because there are mature trees either side, um, this is actually quite a nice sunny open part. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this, but there's a little, um, oh he's gone, <laughs> he's gone, I was going to try and film the little gold crest for you, but because they're quite rare little birdies, but he's uh, up and running and gone on. So we're definitely in Sanford. These beautiful dog roses, all in flower now. Oxide daisies, so pretty. And um, on we go. So we're now heading towards Thatcher's. Now, uh, Thatcher's is the cider makers. Make good cider. I did intend to do a cider tasting of all their different brands, but somehow I drank them. <laughs> we will get back to that though. So this is, just as it should be as we head towards Thatcher's, this is apple orchards. Miles and miles and miles of little apples all growing on the trees. We've had quite um, a chilly winter, so they're probably not as far along as they would have been. But you can see when you look up closely, the apples growing on the, on the branches. This, cute little apples, you're going to get rosy already. Okay, so down between the rows, so this is an orchard, a lovely English orchard on a lovely English summer's day. So yes, lovely peaceful, she says it's a car drives past, um, orchard in Somerset. Right, so at this point we've walked quite a way and I'm thinking it's probably, as I've got to get all the way back again, that I'm going to start heading back. Okay, so this is Clover. Okay, now if I can catch him, there's a little bumblebee there. Now bumblebees love clover and specifically clover honey is absolutely heavenly. So this is what makes clover honey. And there's a little bee busy doing what he's supposed to do. We need more bees people, we need bees. They do all the good stuff. This is Scarlet Pimpernel, such a pretty little plant. Look at that, all bright and perky. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's ever so pretty. It's got like little tiny, tiny flowers on it. It looks like elderflower. No, not at all like elderflower. Elderflower's in bunches of flowers. This is like all little stems of flower. That's elderflower, look, you see there? That's elderflower. This is something completely different. Ooh, beautiful dandelion clocks. Big, big, big ones. So we're in Winscombe now. Stopped here at the Strawberry Line Tea Rooms. Um, and we're going to have a nice cream tea, which I'm going to share with you. We could have sat outside, but the traffic is quite heavy at this point. So we've gone inside. So, see who I can find in here. No one over there, cream teas. Nobody over there. I know, but here are my boys. So there is a garden outside, but it's quite full at the moment. So, um, 
again we're sneaking inside because it's quiet okay so green tea has arrived look at that clotted cream scones strawberry jam a strawberry ginger beer and a cup of Earl Grey tea so served with pots so you can have second helpings ginger beer no alcohol but it's ginger and it's yummy so this is my cream tea Whoa, so nice so Now, there are two ways of doing this, so I thought I'd do one scone of each style. So there's some people that think that the jam should go first and then the clotted cream goes on top. Mm. It's a really light, fluffy um, scone, not at all heavy. Really light and fluffy. Very nice. So this is the half of the people say that this is you should, the way you should eat it with the jam underneath and the cream on top. Nice super bowl bread tea. Mm. Now the other camp believe that the clotted cream should go first instead of the butter and then the jam should go on top of the clotted cream like so quite honestly as long as it goes in my mouth I don't care so I'm now going to slice up my strawberry put a little bit of my strawberry on top as well seeing as they've given me such a beautiful big strawberry so the strawberry line was that we've just walked along was where they delivered the um, fresh strawberries that are grown in this area to all the towns and everywhere that wanted them. Right, so now we're going to try this. Mm. Nothing like it. It's so good. So yes. We're all going to thoroughly enjoy our cream tea. So I hope you enjoyed my cream tea as much as I did. It's very nice. Thank you for joining me here in Somerset, in Winscombe Village, on the Strawberry Line, on the Strawberry Line Cafe, for a delicious cream tea. Catch you later.